Knights of Badastum is a horror comedy. I saw the trailer for this on a DVD a while ago. It's about a trio of friends who like to uh, take their role playing of Dungeons and Dragons to the next level with LARPing. LARPing is a live action role playing. You basically dress up as whatever um, you want and then you use foam sticks to uh, sort of imitate combat. And you go out into the woods or an open area, do quests, and uh, they're trying to do this thing called the Giant Battle of Evermore. So there's different squads, our main characters, I don't even remember their names. The, the movie has a, it feels really half-assed. Basically the friends are trying to do this uh, quest and um, one of them is an enchanter and he has this really old book and he uh, has to do a summoning spell in order to get their friend in and then they accidentally summon a succubus from hell. And the succubus uh, copies of the people's dialogue and it starts killing, cutting its way through all these different people until they um, are able to fight it with the real weapons that the enchanter brought, just in case. And they fight the monster and win. That's pretty much the movie. There's no character development at all, really. Uh, one of the characters is Gwen. She's played by Summer Glau. She doesn't do anything in the movie. She, you could take her out of the movie and it wouldn't change. She's there to be the female love interest. Uh, other characters, I mean, it's got a great cast. You've got Jimmy Smits, you've got Peter Dinklage, Ryan Quantin, the guy from Community. Just, the movie just is really threadbare. It's not as funny as it should be. It's not as scary or gory as it could be. So this, the Knights of Bad Astum really doesn't hit the mark in any genre or character-wise. It's not that fun. Uh, so I give the Knights of Bad Astum a 4 out of 10.